Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at filtering nested tables before we expand those specific tables. What do I mean by that? Business case. We have a folder to nested tables. We are going to pull all the Excel workbooks in this folder. Inside each of these files, we have a sheet representing an investor, the investor holdings at a specific point in time. What we're going to do is we are going to filter these sheets and then we're going to expand them. But I'm going to apply a filter on, I only want to pull Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, and then I'm going to expand. So let me show you how to do it. Come on! All right, step one. Let's get that folder into Power Query. So we got to get data. We go to from folder. We select the folder and we say open. What it's going to do now, it's going to show me all of the files within that folder. I say transform. Once I'm in, you can see binary. Binary refers to, if I click there, it basically refers to each workbook. So binary represents that actual workbook. First thing that we're going to do is I'm going to add a column. All right. And I'm going to say we're going to use Excel workbook. Yes. And we're going to say, yeah, give us the content, which is the binary and make that true. The reason why we're saying true is just the indicator that we can promote the header. So if I say, OK, it's going to add a custom column there. So you can see custom column now added. This is now the nested table we were talking about. OK, so if I click there, it's going to show me, give me a little peek inside of each one of those Excel workbooks. You can see there's sheets and there's tables in there. So I would like to actually filter um, on this. So conventionally, what you would have done here is you would have this is now an example of expanding before you filter. You would have done that. Say, show me the names. You would have selected only Charlie Munger or Wallen Buffett, and then you would have expanded. But we're not going to do that. We're going to filter, and then we're going to expand. So let me quickly show you how we do that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add another column. I'm going to call this Select Sheet. And we're going to say Table select rows, we're going to use the select rows function. And we're going to be referring to the table is custom. Yeah. And then in that we're going to say each. And if you look at this, I'm going to say so I'm just basically selecting that table that nested table. And in each of these tables, I'm going to look for the name I'm going to start a bracket there, I'm going to say name. Yeah, is equal to I'm only looking for the Warren Buffett portfolios. Yeah, and then I close that out. And then I say, okay. So now if you click there, you can see, we've selected only the Warren Buffett sheets. Isn't that grand? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to expand there. I'm going to say expand on the data. Right, and then I click there. And here are all the columns. And now we basically have expanded all of the Warren Buffett portfolios. Isn't that wonderful? So that's basically how you would first filter and then expand. But let me show you another little trick. So let's say I wanted to select multiple two portfolios instead of the one. So I'm just going to quickly copy this across. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to call this two. And I'm going to start a new query. I'm going to start a blank query. Let's just start a list. I'm going to say we have a list here, like those little curly brackets. We want Warren Buffett and we want Charlie Munger. So I want these two investors. Press OK. We basically have Buffett and Munger. I'm just going to call this investor list. All right. So then in nested two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this little step over here where we said, what do we want to filter? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out. I'm just going to say your list contains and I'm going to select the investor list. Yeah. And I'm going to say, I'm basically looking the the column for name as the sheet name. And I'm going to say is equal to true. And that should do the trick. And now if we expand that, you would see that in here, we would have Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett. So if I turn this to Excel, you can see that's the list. There's the table with two. See, we both have Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. Well, 
that is it for this tutorial video i hope this really helped you like open your mind in terms of how you can use excel workbook list contains and table select rows ba sensei out